I am Tammy Beilstein. Welcome to Tammy's Window on Calaveras. I have with me today Tammy Lee from the Studio 4 School of Dance. I, I did get it right. You, right? you got oh, it right. Fine. You got it right. <laughs> I kind of was tongue tied I'd help you earlier. out. Yeah. <laughs> we love when Tammy comes to tell us about the programs that they have going on over there at, at their School of Dance. You guys are so busy. They just had their Nutcracker, Nutcracker uh, performance. Yep. Gosh, was that only a month ago? It was no. It was exactly a month ago today that we got into theater, okay. and then it was the 19th was our opening night. Wow. Yeah. Time's yep. flying by. Time is flying by already. You tell me how that went. It was fabulous. It was really, really cool. Um, we just had... We had a lot of great dancing, and we had some new special effects and oh. some amazing costumes, some new costumes. And of course, to go with that is new choreography. So uh, wow. a lot of great feedback from the audience. So it was so, pretty, pretty amazing. You guys are known for doing the Nutcracker every year. Is every, it yeah. different every year? There are I mean, obviously there are different dancers. But, right, um, there's different dancers. We have a lot of veteran dancers who, you know, have started in the company when they were three and moved their way up. Um, yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, and then, um, so with the the same dancers, they audition for different um, parts. Okay. You know, then and depending on their age, what they audition for. Right, you know, right. like the the principal roles, they have to be um, like. 16, 14, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. So, like Clara is 14. Okay. She was 14. Okay. I don't mean um, to laugh. I totally got this image of someone like yeah. my age being like a little mouse or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> yeah. Some companies do that. They have the older dancers be like the mice and stuff. Yeah. Oh, so, you, funny. that's what's fun about it is you can change it up any way you want, yeah. you know, and you can set, you, you keep the storyline. Uh -huh. um, I think I've talked about about this before in the past I did the orphanage so I kind of changed the story okay. in the beginning where the story the the actual story is where Clara um, and Fritz are from this wealthy family and they have this big extravagant um, Christmas party mm -hmm. and all the guests come and it's it's very just you know Christmassy and yeah. you know gets you in that Christmas spirit yeah. where the orphanage was we didn't have any party parents so I was like how am I gonna do this so I, oh. I had to rethink and so we did that for, I think, three or four years. That's a great idea. Yeah, so, and it worked, but then I just, I was like, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. I want to go back, I want to go back to the real story. The classic, to, yeah. Yeah, to the classic story right, where it right. actually feels like Christmas, yeah. you know, because it's Christmas for them, you sure, know. Sure, So That's neat, though, that you, that you have that flexibility to do that. And that yeah. your brain even works that way that you can think of these things. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Who does? You said you have new costumes and special effects. Who does those things? Well, we have Michelle Gonzalez and Tammy Hancock, who are my lead ladies as far as like doing designing and alterations and making costumes. Okay. Um, Michelle Gonzalez's daughter Hannah is um, she's going to college in San Francisco. I think it's Cal uh, San Francisco Cal California of the Arts or something like that. Okay. It's a school specified for like costuming and stuff. It's, wow. Yeah, so nice. she's learning so much. So her information gets passed to her mom. Ah. And so we get a little bit of that, you yeah. know, it's kind of, which is cool, you know. Two it's like educations for the price of one. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> like, what did you find out now, you know? Right. So it's, it's pretty cool. We, um, they did a, a new nutcracker head, which is, it was really, I was expecting like your, a traditional nutcracker head. Uh -huh. And they didn't show me, it was gonna be a surprise. Ooh. So he comes out on stage with this head, you know, and it was just so cool. I went, oh, this is, I just love oh, it. Neat. And they just use this different kind of fabric and this, like this molding stuff. I forget the name of it, wow. but it was really impressive. That, Very you cool. know, she's got to share her schooling with, with us, is you know? she sort of an employee of yours? Does she get um, paid for her talent and her time to make all these no, costumes? No, she just or? does it. She just her and her mom work and do it. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Is it the same so, with the, the all the other people, the special effects people, and everyone? The or? volunteers. The mm -hmm. volunteers. Wow. Yep. 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 That's so volunteering. Neat. Yep. And then our um, special effects, um, Skip Sharp. He um, works for San Jose uh, University. Okay. So he does, he used to work there and um, so he's working up here. He has Great. his own wood, woodworking shop and so okay. he keeps in contact and does some 
shows down there mm -hmm. still. So his expertise we get because yeah. his daughter is is in our company. Oh, so neat. yeah, and that you know it's all it's family. Right. So it's like he comes up with these great ideas. I tell him you know hey I want to do this, uh -huh. and then he goes okay. I got you covered. Wow. Yeah. So, so I imagine like, on the, the application when the kids feel are, are yeah. having that filled out for the part they want and who they are and how to contact yeah. them, you probably ask the parents, and what are your <laughs> yes. talents? Yeah. Right. What do you what do? What do you offer? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So That's we have so nice. a huge, just, there's so much to do. Yeah. You know, Nutcracker is a beast. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is behind the scenes, um, just things that people don't really, you know, understand right. you know you know running 60 people um, in the backstage in two dressing rooms you've got 30 and 30 plus you've got parents helping put eyelashes on mm -hmm. and the makeup the special makeup that we have to do and wow you know and so just many young children so many young to children just corral the kids yeah and this year specifically since we had so uh, an increase in our special effects mm -hmm. it was uh, you know it, it was like a little like, okay, we have to really educate the, the parents and the children what not to touch oh, back sure. on the side of the stage because that's where everything is, yeah. you know. You've got these heavy cranes that are up, you know, up oh in this gosh. light. You know, you've got the lighting and yeah. the, the rigging that's on the side. Every, every you know, you've got, it, it's all dangerous, uh, you know. So, I bet you took a deep breath after every show just oh big yeah. sigh making really sure fun. that everything is running correctly yeah. and that you know everything happens when it's supposed to happen because yeah. it's all it was had to happen on a specific note you know wow. so and it, it 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 all went great oh my was very goodness pleased. they all have to know that show forward and backward mm -hmm. then in case something doesn't go right right what can we do real quick right. <laughs> like just that quick what can we do instead you have to really That's think, you have to no pun intended. You have to think on your toes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <It's, laughs> that is so cute. You know, you you do. Yeah. You have to just go because it's live wow. theater. You know, something yeah. something always happens at every show. Yeah. You know, and was there anything funny that happened this last show? There was. What? There was. Our Mrs. Bubblegum came out and she had some candy and um, she accidentally dropped some. Yeah. On, and this was live. This was theater. Right? I mean, this live theater. Yeah. This happened during a show, and. So it was like, you know, the little starburst and stuff. Uh -huh. So some of that dropped on the stage. <laughs> right. Well, um, the Waltz of the Flowers was coming on. And these oh, are no. the, yes, so the Dewdrop Fairy is on point. And so my heart just went, <gasps> Not on oh, the starburst. No. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody's got to kick it off, you know. Oh, my kick gosh. Kick the candy off. And then here comes all the fog laying over the stage so you couldn't see it. Oh, no. Yeah. So one of our dancers, an older dancer, she just kicked it off stage. It's oh, like, good for her. Yeah. I'm like, oh how did gosh. you see it? Yeah. So yeah. it was just funny little things like that that, you know, yeah. maybe that wasn't so funny, but it was after the fact. Yeah. You know. And for yeah. sure memorable. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm like, oh. Thank goodness. And some audience member in the first row got a free piece of Starburst. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Oh, it, my goodness. Yeah. So. It was actually it, supposed to be candy canes, so, but. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine yeah, your yeah. heart was pounding. It was. I was like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah, so. Yeah. So about how many of the little, little children do you have in in this show? Are there, when, I was in it like a million years ago when I was little, yeah. and I was a mouse. Yeah. And my head came off, my little, my ears <laughs> yeah. came off uh, when I was doing um, some tumbling. Mm -hmm. And I think I told you about that. I, think, yeah. I get in line with the rest of the, the mice. We're doing our, our little dance all in the line. I look back and I see the, the ears there. And oh. I'm, in my head, I'm like, wow, whose is that? Right. <laughs> and you I, keep looking back. I noticed back. that all the people around me have their ears on. So it was me. <laughs> you're you're but, touching. You're looking. Oh, yeah. no. Oops, those are my ears. Yeah. <laughs> my ears. But, um, but I remember us kids backstage when we were very little, just like we didn't understand what was happening right. around us right. and how important it was yeah. to behave. Right. We were having a great time right. and we loved being dressed up right. and playing with yeah. each other. Yeah. And uh, yeah, when I think about being in charge of yeah. little ones like that, that would be a heck of stressful. Well, and that's where the parents yeah. come in. They, okay. you know, they, they, we have like um, probably. 15 of the moms that volunteer just for backstage. Oh, good. Then we that have many. volunteers that 
that are on side stage that stand in the wings to make sure that the little kids are coming okay. off where they need to be, yeah. you know, and going on when they need to go, you know. Oh, and perfect. Yeah, so there's a lot to it. There's yeah. a, it's, it's crazy time back there. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's all, you know, there's so much going on during the show. Right. You know. That's what makes it so fun. Is the Nutcracker your only big show of the year? What else do you? No, we're coming up um, st our student showcase, which mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's a collaboration of ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, and contemporary. Cool. And what we do is we um, the students choreograph, so it gets their mind. Um, going as far as what kind of music they like, what mm -hmm. kind of the genre of dance that they really like that they think that they want to choreograph mm -hmm. in. Um, they learn because they're in charge of um, costuming. Okay. They're in charge of budgeting. Um, wow. In, in the, yeah. And so in the past, what I've had is my senior dancers help to do like the posters and the program. Um, they learn how to run a rehearsal mm -hmm. um, to be in charge. And sometimes that's a little okay. challenging just because you know, you have a 15-year-old who is choreographing a dance, and she's got, in her dance, mm -hmm. she's got dancers that are maybe 17. Right. She's younger, yet she's the one that's in charge. So yeah. we've, you've got the dynamics there where the girls have to know, okay, mm -hmm. she's in charge. And respect that yeah. and be respectful. What an amazing experience. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's very amazing for, for them at a young age. Yeah. Because, you know, the way I feel is they can go on, if they choose to dance in college, mm -hmm. they can put that on their application, mm -hmm. you know, if they choose. And, you know, nine times out of ten, they're probably going to dance in college and mm -hmm. then perform, right. you know, with that college. What kind of careers are there for dancers? Um, there, There's a million. I mean, really? They're re really? They're, the, there's so many. There's so many. You can be, you can be a teacher, start your own studio. Mm -hmm. You can teach for a college. Mm -hmm. You, um, if you're young enough, you can you can go into, depending on the type of dance that you wanna do, you can dance with a professional company. You could also do, if you like um, like hip hop and jazz and that, that style, yeah. you can do, like go to Broadway. Um, okay. You could scale it down. You could um, teach, you know, Broadway dance and singing. Mm -hmm. um, you could do like the um, the uh, Hollywood yeah. film. You can yeah. do commercials. Okay. I mean, there's just there's a lot. And there's the choreography and all the other things. You, that you can you be mentioned. a choreographer. You don't even have to be a dancer. There's one lady who. You can be a choreographer uh, without being a dancer. I mean, you have to have dance. Okay. You know, but like um, there's been thousands of choreographers that just didn't want to become a professional dancer. Okay. They just, you okay. know, they liked being a teacher. Yeah. They didn't want to do, they like performing, but they found their, their passion in teaching. Yeah. And being okay. a choreographer, hmm. you know, so. Well, I never yeah. mm -hmm. thought about it all that yeah. much. I have a niece who's going to UCLA and she got a um, scholarship. She, she dances okay. there. Yeah. And uh, so I do kind of wonder, I hadn't asked yeah. her yet, but what, what her plan was uh, later. But there are a lot more yeah. opportunities Disney. than I thought. Disney's oh, yeah. huge. Like one of my one of my dancers, that's what she wants to do. She wants to go and work for Disney for a oh, couple of years. So yeah. neat. And dance and go to college. That would know? be great. Yeah. yeah. And then, okay, and we can even go even higher than that. We can you start and be a dancer on a cruise ship. Oh. You know, you can do, there's hmm. so many, there's so many things that you can that do. That is really mm -hmm. something. Yeah, yeah. So, huh. I mean, there, there are, there's a ton of careers in, in the field. You just yeah. have to really find what you like to do. Right, right. You know, so. What age did you decide that you wanted to go into teaching? And I know you still dance. You guys should see her arms. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure all of her <laughs> is in the same shape, but I just see her arms. You are, you are built. She's muscular, toned. I'm oh, well, so thank you. Thank you. I actually, as far as, well, thank you. <laughs> You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. So, so you obviously dance um, still. Uh, you, you must work out all the time. Well, yes. And, well, last year during our student showcase, I ended yeah. up hurt, injuring myself and t tearing my, I saw that on Facebook. my meniscus. Yeah. And then, so I've had, I, it's been six months and I'm still having some issues. Oh, no. So I'm not dancing right now, okay. but I am, I am teaching. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. So, but the the goal is to start being able to dance again. Okay. Will I do a show like a full blown show? Probably not, mm. just because 
Your my knees are my yeah. knees aren't is they're not good. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's just part of that's just part of being a dancer. Yeah. You know, your hips and your knees are the are the first things to go. Right. Yeah. That so. makes sense. Yeah. But you seem to yeah. do it all. I mean. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I look at you. I'm just so blown away by everything that you do. Like I said, you're so you're athletic, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. But then the brains that go along with it to be able to run your business, mm -hmm. put these shows on, the patience you must have to, <laughs> to work with these kids all day, every day like Nobody that. Nobody sees me behind closed doors. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. I should ask Kenny, right. what's she really like? Right. No. She's throwing things. No. You guys are such a neat couple. Oh, by well, thank the way. you. Yes. So, yeah. And Kenny has the. Um, Family the for Fitness. Family for yes. Fitness, yes. The, uh, the gym over yep. there. Yep, yeah. right in Vallecito. Yeah. Yes. You guys should go check yep. that that out. I have he does a an couple amazing of times job. that I live closer yeah. because it's, yeah. yeah, you guys are, it just seems so yeah. comfortable and laid mm -hmm. back. And I've noticed when I have gone in there to do, I know it's my hospice outreach or yeah. something. Yes. You guys are always so generous. Every person that comes in and out of there, I could tell if they are, are new or someone who's been going there for years. Yeah. But. But Kenny talks to every one of them yes. as if they're his friend. Oh, yeah, and if yeah, they're yeah. new, he's asking how to go. You know, he wants to right. help we make it better. Right. What do you need? Right. Let me know how right. to help you. So, personable. You have so to be. So personable. Yeah. yeah. You have to. And the way <laughs> we've always talked is like that business, owning a gym, uh -huh. it's probably one of the least like desirable what, pe what people really want to do. You really? know what I mean? Okay. As far as like people... Do I really want to go work out today? So oh, you've got yeah, to, you've yeah. got to be very you know like encouraging, encouraging and, and yeah. helping them and you know and right. that's he's a natural at that. Oh, he you just guys, he's perfect. You guys got it going yeah. on. You're yeah. a really neat couple. Oh, thank you. And the the businesses are in the same yeah, space, which is very cool, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's there and I'm exactly right next door. There's a, a door that divides us and Half the time we don't even see each other. Right. Like <laughs> so close. I so walk far. in and I have a call, and he's in the office, and I can hear him calling me. That's pretty That's cute. That's so funny. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. So if, if for anyone who doesn't know where your business is exactly, I think everyone probably does. But tell the people who don't know how they can find you. So we are located at 4868 Highway 4 in Vallecito. Um, if you're coming from Angels Camp, you're going to travel up Highway 4. Um, we're going to be on the left-hand side right after um, Six Mile Road. Okay. If you're coming from Murphy's down Highway 4, we're going to be on the right-hand side. Yes. Yeah. I see them every week. I drive past their place <laughs> yeah. and I go to our Angels Murphy's Road, which like, I've been... I've been begging them to join our, our club. We would be thrilled to have yes. have uh, one or both of you. You guys can join as a business, by the way. Yes. Um, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but you'd be such an asset to our club. Mm -hmm. But I drive past there every week, and there's there's always people in mm -hmm. your parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, yes. That's, that's just, it's amazing. You guys do such a great, great business. and We've been here for... Um, the studio has been open for 15 years, okay. and the gym has been open for 16 years. Awesome. I was just thinking that today. How long have we been around? But wow. we moved. We moved to Calaveras in uh, 2003. So when we opened up the the gym in 2004, and then I opened up the studio a year later. Got yeah. Me. So yeah. Is that it's, weird? Am I the only person who thinks of 16 years ago that that was still in the, the 2000s? Right. It just, <laughs> it just sounds weird to me. It's crazy. <laughs> what got, what brought you guys to Calaveras? Kenny's mom actually bought a home here, okay. and um, she had a, you know, why don't you guys come out and visit? And we came out and visit, and we wanted to um, work out when we were here. Yeah. And the gym that was up in Murphy's, he was selling it. He was oh. selling the equipment. And so we were kind of in transition from we had owned a sports bar in Houston, mm -hmm. and we had we got out of that, and we were, we were like, okay, well, what? What are we gonna do? And the first, our very first date, I'm like, what do you, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You know that kind yeah. of thing. And so he wanted to open up his own fitness center, and I wanted to open up my own dance studio. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So it just, it, we were, we were at the right place. You know, God was oh, on our yes. side, and He goes, "This is where you guys need to be. You guys and are so, living your dream. Yeah, we I are. I love that. Yes, that yes, we so actually cool. are. That's yes. so cool. Yeah. So. So for these um, these parents who have kids who they want to mm -hmm. get involved mm -hmm. in dance, yes, um, tell them the phone number to call to find you. I don't want to forget to give them the phone number. Okay, it's two zero nine seven two eight 
5347. Okay, and they can call you, uh, talk to you about making an appointment to come in to discuss the options of all the different classes you have available, yeah, right? And they can times they, and fees and mm -hmm. all that. Right, exactly. What they can do is they can visit our website at studio for school of dance .com. Okay. Um, They can give me a call. We can set an, up an appointment to meet, mm -hmm. um, and then just see, um, you know, how old their child is. Um, what their child is interested in, mm -hmm. um, and then just kind of navigate through all the information and, okay. and place them where they need to be. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. You know, I was thinking about you guys not long ago because I was talking with someone from the Dalton Foundation. Have you heard of them? No. You were saying that you're, yeah. the dance is a nonprofit, right? Yes. Yeah, so we have um, the nonprofit dance company, which is Studio uh, Four Dance Theater, uh -huh. and then we have the for profit. School of Dance. Okay. Yeah, so they're two separate entities. The Dalton Foundation, they work with us, um, with our Grief Buster kids um, some of the time. It's a, a new thing that they okay. that is over there in, in Amador, but they okay. help kids in Calaveras also. Okay. So kids who want to get involved in some sort of sport, mm -hmm. and I believe they, I believe you said that dance um, is is uh, considered a sport, and they, but if they can't afford it, they can contact the, um, the Dalton Foundation, okay. and they help they help pay okay. those fees or, or to buy the uh, help uh, buy the clothing or whatever is right. needed whatever so they can do need. their sport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so if anyone's struggling, if who comes to you, um, let me know if it, or I can and get you in touch with them. Um, that would be a great idea because you guys can know, partner we, up or yeah, something. Yeah, partner do a partner. You know, some something. Yeah. You know, figure out something, even yeah. if it's just a, a small fraction. Right. You know, right. to help with like you said the clothing or yeah. You know the fees yeah. or, yeah. I think dance is so important. Not every kid is into a competitive, mm -hmm. wants to do a competitive mm -hmm. sport. Mm -hmm. I don't like that sort of thing. Right. Um, I don't like the way I feel when I get competitive because right. I'm like, I don't like right. it, so right. I just don't right. want to do it. But yeah. dance is just, it's, it's, it's completely different mm -hmm. and it uses every muscle in your body. It, it is every bit of a workout yes. as some sort of yeah. you know, tennis or swimming or any right. other competitive sport. Um, but I would yeah. love to see see more kids uh, come along into your program who yeah. might be hesitant to do it because they don't think they can afford it. Right. I, I think it'd be right. great. And right. I love people partnering up, like you guys and them, all such great people. I that love would be putting a great, great idea. people together yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Um, I'd be very interested in that. Good, yeah. good, awesome. I know, you, I figured you would be. Mm -hmm. You guys are so generous yeah. um, like that. So is there anything that you think that, um, that people might want to know about dance that they don't understand or, or about taking classes at your place that they don't understand? What kind of questions do you get? Um, I don't get, I mean, let's see, some of the questions I get are, um, most of them are, my daughter really knows how to dance, uh -huh. you know, or really likes to move. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, let's place this. Well, I think she's really good, you know, and they're, they're kind of, they don't understand how dance works as far as you have to start them at a certain level. Right. And then they have to move, work their yes. way up. Yes. Especially, especially with ballet. Right. Ballet is where you've, you've got to get the training to mm -hmm. move up, you've you got have to it. understand the the wording, even the right. the, uh, the definitions it's, of the it's different in French. Yes, the yeah, of the different dances and movements they have. Right. they have names to right. them. Yeah, right. it's it's all in French, um, but just learning the placement of your body, mm -hmm. you know, because it's 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 different than just how somebody walks across the street, mm -hmm. you know, where a dancer has to walk a certain way. Mm -hmm. You have to be all your alignment has to be perfect right you know mm, you know we wonder beautiful. yeah we wonder how a ballerina can do four turns on her point shoe right you know and it's it's all about her alignment Ugh. you know it's all about where everything her shoulders have to be right over her hips her hips you know have to they have to be a certain way yeah. they can't be over tucked or under tucked their knees have to be straight so much focus their, their ankle has to support you know, their mm -hmm. leg and then their foot and then, you know, it yeah. just, so oh, it, there's a amazing. lot, there's a lot to it. And yeah. so I, the question that I get a lot is when can my daughter move up? You uh -huh. know, you know, when can she move up and, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But how does that happen? Do you test them all uh, periodically at the same time or when someone might be ready, they're tested on their own and then you decide if they can move up to the next level? So since I teach 
all the classes, uh -huh. except for the pre-ballet and the ballet one. I'm with these students all the time, okay. every week. You're so, the only teacher? Yeah. Oh so my gosh. I, for ballet. For ballet, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a tap teacher and a contemporary teacher and a hip hop teacher. Okay. I do have help. I okay. probably wouldn't be able to handle it if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm with these students every week. Yeah. So I get to see their improvement and to mm -hmm. see who actually, for instance, you know, the main goal for these young women is to get on point, uh -huh. you know, to, to be able to, to be the sugar plum fairy and the nutcracker, yeah. right? Um, but there's a requirement. They have to be enrolled in dance and continually take dance. Um, they have to enroll in a pre-point class, which covers um, how to tie the ribbons on your point shoes, how to take oh. care of your feet when you don't have your point shoes on, oh. you know, how, how are the point shoes made, you know, what, how, what supports the foot, you know? Gosh. So there's a million things that these dancers need to learn before they actually get into the point class. Mm -hmm. um, so they need to be enrolled in two ballet classes. Okay. They need to take a pre-point class. They need to, um, once they've taken the pre-point class, which is a six week course, then they move into point one, but they're only on this, they only take the class with soft shoe. Okay. Um, and then we move into demi-point shoes. So you don't, you know, it's a progression. There's so much There's to so it. much to it, so much to it. It always blows yeah. me away when I do these shows with people who are talking about yeah. their business or their passion. There is so much that people who don't do that don't know. We right. don't know. Right, it's you just, don't. It's crazy. I think that's, yeah. yeah, I think that's with anything. Yeah. You know, there's there's always behind the scenes stuff. That's incredible. Yeah. Who would have known yeah. that there's so much yeah. goes on in, in a dance class right. uh, and or to be a, a top performer mm -hmm. uh, in, yeah. in a production. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. We yeah. have like two minutes left. So okay. I want to make sure that anybody who's interested in finding mm -hmm. out more about you can do so. You guys have a Facebook page also, right? We have a Facebook page. We have a website. Um, they can contact me via email, um, which is, uh, I think they have it on the on the screen there. Not mm, yet. They might have really. They helped. might have, yeah. yeah. Um, but they can always call me. They just good old phone call. Yeah. Tell us know? that number again. It's 209-728-5347. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, if they And if they want to meet... Uh, get to the gym, you probably could still call that number and she knows the guy next door. Yeah, so that's right, that's that right, too. exactly. The whole family could right, work out right. at the same time. Actually, I have that. I have the parents that drop their kid off to take the dance yeah. class and the parents go in the gym to work out. That it is works. brilliant. It works. And then I love that. Rehearsals, you know? Yeah. Oh, you guys yeah. know what you're doing. <laughs> we are, gosh, we're almost out of time. I know. Um, it goes by so fast. So look for your upcoming event, the showcase? The student showcase, it'll be May 1st and 2nd. Um, May 1st is a Friday, it'll be 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. Perfect. Yep. So uh, we'll hopefully have more information on that as the time uh, comes near. And you visit our Thank website. You. And visit the website. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. I love when you come. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time on Tammy's Window on Calaveras.